Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 19th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk to you about the present trend for atmospheric carbon dioxide as observed by the Mauna Loa Observatory and some larger monthly mean trends at present. So at this time of year, atmospheric CO2 values dip as plant growth in the northern hemisphere hits a maximum intensity, ma maximum density, which generates a cyclical drop in global atmospheric CO2 concentrations. And for this year, it looks like we are ranging to around 405 parts per million at the Mauna Loa Observatory during the minimum that typically occurs during mid to late September through early October. Following this period, we can expect atmospheric CO2 levels to steadily rise through the April, May, June period of 2019 likely hitting a maximum of near 414 parts per million given present rates of fossil fuel burning and human-based carbon emissions. It's worth noting that the Mauna Loa Observatory was picked due to its remote location away from typical major sources of carbon dioxide and that it's one location on the surface of the earth but it's it's a it's a good monitor for for average atmospheric co2 concentrations it's worth noting we have some places on the surface of the earth at present that are recording lower levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide such as rainforest regions which are carbon sinks and we have regions that record higher levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide, such as areas where there are carbon sources, primarily from high fossil fuel burning related regions, such as the densely packed east coast of the United States, parts of Europe, parts of China, and other regions around the world, particularly those that may see high rates of, of wildfire burning, for example. So overall, atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are tracking to around a, a minimum this year in the range of 405 parts per million. Looking at the monthly trends, monthly mean trends provided by NOAA's Earth Systems Research Laboratory. It does look like the global monthly mean at this point is edging above 407 parts per million. And we are likely to see the 410 part per million monthly mean level challenge sometime by late 2019. Atmospheric carbon dioxide is the primary contributor to human forced climate change, providing about 60% or more of the greenhouse gas forcing in the atmosphere at present. It's worth noting though that when we add all the other greenhouse gases together, the atmospheric CO2 equivalent forcing is in the range of 493 parts per million for as recorded at the end of 2017 according to NOAA so likely close to the range of 494, 495 parts per million CO2 equivalent at this time. This range between 407 parts per million CO2 and 493, 494, 495 parts per million CO2 equivalent roughly bounds a geological epoch called the Middle Miocene in which global temperatures range from around 2.8 to 
0.8 degrees Celsius above typical Holocene temperatures. So the present atmospheric carbon forcing and greenhouse gas forcing is a, a serious issue. And over the long term, if it remains so high, will have seriously damaging effects to the Earth system. Unfortunately, present rates of fossil fuel burning do indicate that this concentration of greenhouse gases will continue to rise for some time. However, as mentioned in previous blogs, we do have the opportunity to peak global carbon emissions and rapidly reduce them, thus tamping down atmospheric greenhouse gas forcing. It's worth noting that the more rapidly we cut carbon emissions, the more we will be able to reinvigorate carbon sinks and the higher likelihood we will have to reduce net CO2 forcing over multi-decadal timescales. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.